What's going on everyone? This is Jack with the Trading Tribe and today we are back at it with another Thinkorswim tutorial where I'm actually going to be walking through how to use the charting tool in Thinkorswim called the Flexible Grid. And this is typically how traders like to design out what their charts look like within the Charles Schwab Thinkorswim platform. And it offers a lot of flexibility. So if you're actually in your broker, um, you'll move over to the charts tab. And for today, you're going to want to make sure that you have this flexible grid button clicked. By default, I believe you're back to this charting tab, but we'll move over to the flexible grid, which really just allows you to design out exactly what your different charts look like and then how these are actually structured on your screen. So we'll essentially see the same sort of thing as we do on the chart tab, where we see the, the futures ticker symbol or the stock ticker symbol up here at the top left. So I'm actually gonna move this over to natural gas. I'll put it on the front month just so I can see the full chart here. And just like always, right, we're going to pick that asset that we're trading or that we're investing in. And that's essentially going to set up, right, what this chart is actually connected to. And here I'm actually using the symbol link as well. So we're going to keep this as red for now. And we'll kind of talk through the flexibility here of that. In the middle here, right, with this flexible grid, we're going to notice a few options. And so sidebar is essentially going to open up that side panel here that's typically on the right-hand side within Thinkorswim. So if we click on that, that's essentially going to add all of those tabs, right, that you can open up, right? So if we wanted to put a trade on, right, we can open up that active trader tab, for example, and, you know, opening up that is kind of optional. So on certain charts, you might not want this ribbon over here on the right. And so that's actually optional, right? You can remove that. So really nice flexibility there. If you ever don't want these buttons on a certain chart, if you have multiple monitors or you have multiple charts that you're looking at, maybe you're just watching, you know, the S&P 500, for example, but you're not placing trades on that chart ever, you can just take off the sidebar, for example. Then from there, what we can also do is we can add other charts. So this plus sign above or below the window here, this first one would essentially add a chart down below. And then this plus sign here to the right would add a chart side by side, depending on kind of the layout of your desk and your setup um, really is kind of up to you. I typically like my charts to be left to right, but if you do like to stack your charts, right, you can click on this one that would essentially just add a chart down below for now, right? We're going to click on this on the right hand side and let me get a sec here. And there we go. So once you click on that button, right, that's actually going to add that tab here. And so really cool, really quickly, right, I can just make this red, which connects it essentially to, to this screen on the left. And so we're looking at natural gas still, for example. And maybe on the left, right, I want that one minute chart. Maybe this is where I'm going to be placing those trades day to day. And maybe over here on the right, right, I want like a long term, you know, 20 day or hourly chart, for example, right, really quickly, right, I can actually add that and have that second chart here, which is really nice. If I made a mistake, right, and I want to remove this window on the right hand side, right, I can always click on this little window with the slash icon, and that'll just remove that as well. So you have freedom to add or remove charts as you wish. In this case, I'll put it back for now, and we will remove the sidebar here, right, because we already have it kind of in the middle of our screen, for example, and just gives a little bit more real estate as to kind of what we're looking at. And so really quickly here, right, you can see how you can design out really what you want that setup to look like. And then when you're in the flexible grid, right, instead of saving this, for example, right, what you can do is you can essentially just take off this little customizable ribbon here. So to do that, you can come up here to the waffle icon and then just uncustomize grid, 
and then that essentially turns both of these charts on and gets rid of that grid that's kind of in the middle of both charts. And so now you really have that workspace. If you want to save kind of this setup, right, you can come up to setup here and you can save this. So I actually have that where I have, you know, a pre-built setup for when I'm trading options or futures or all markets, right? Sometimes I trade Bitcoin and other markets out there. And so I have different views into Thinkorswim, if you will, based on what I'm actually trading day to day. So really helpful and flexible grid is actually how I always design out those screens. I typically like to look at multiple time frames when I'm putting on trades. And so this is a really easy way to actually have all of that set up in one view so that you're not bouncing back and forth between time frames, for example, where you can set up in one swoop, right? All of those different views that you're looking at day to day. So hopefully this added a lot of value. If this helps your trading day to day, feel free to like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those down below as well. And if not, we will catch you next time. Thanks everyone for tuning in.